Hello and welcome to the Character Files. In my hand, I hold information on a character from movie or television, and we dig just a little deeper into who they are. Today's character has a certain je ne je quoi about them, a real petit de mignon. If you couldn't tell by my bad French, we'll be discussing the adventurous life of Madeline Fogg. She's Madeline, she's Madeline, we hope you have it straight. I'm Madeline, I'm Madeline, and inside I'm great. Created by Austrian-American writer and illustrator Ludwig Bemmelmans, Madeline was a series of children's books about sometimes orphan? We'll get back to that later. Day-to-day -day life of, well, Madeline. As mentioned, the series started out as a book simply titled Madeline in 1939, and the latest of the books being released as late as 2014. There is a lot to dig in, so this is going to be a little meaty. Contrary to the title book, the character first appeared in the 1936 book The Golden Basket, before getting her own solo book in 1939. The subsequent sequels released were Madeline's Rescue in 1953, Madeline and the Bad Hat in 1956, Madeline and the Gypsies in 1959, Madeline in London in 1961. The little more trickier of the bunch, Madeline's Christmas, was originally published in 1956 as a part of the magazine McCall's Magazine, but wasn't independently published as its own book until 1985 and Madeline in America and Other Holiday Tales in 1999. Madeline in America was originally a series of different stories written by Bemmelmans for different publications that were all compiled into one book and released in 1999 by his grandson, John Bemmelmans Marciano. Ah! Segway! John Bemmelmans Marciano continued his grandfather's work with three books. Madeline and the Cats of Rome in 2008, Madeline in the White House in 2011, and Madeline in the Old House of Paris in 2014. That's it for the books written to specifically emulate the look, feel, and style of his grandfather's original works, but Marciano did a few more Madeline books in various different styles for various different groups. There is Madeline Says Merci in 2001, Madeline Loves Animals in 2005, Madeline and Her Dog in 2011, and Madeline and Her Tea Party in 2012. From 1939 to 2014, there have been a total of 13 Madeline books in the realms of the printed page. And that does not count all the cartoons and movies that followed. Now to dig into some of the characters and their histories that follow the Madeline series. Miss Clavel was introduced around the same time as Madeline in 1936 in The Golden Basket. She is essentially the caretaker, teacher, and mother of all the children in the Old House of Paris. In some cases, is more so of an actual mother to Madeline that will be discussed further later on. This also introduced the gang of girls in the old house that always follow Madeline around. Madeline never decided to become a gang leader. She has a group that is ride or die for her. Madeline's rescue introduced her dog Genevieve, who would later become a major supporting character in the Madeline series for being just the best dog in the whole world. Clifford's lawyers want to talk to you, Genevieve. Madeline in the Bad Hat introduced her best friend and possible love interest, Pepito. Pepito is the son of a Spanish ambassador who lives next door to the old house. And when we go on to the cartoons and movies, I will further elaborate on what I mean by possible love interest. Possibly the man with the funniest name out of the bunch, Lord Cuckoo Face, was introduced to Madeline's rescue as an initial antagonist who forbade dogs living at the old house. He later warmed up to Genevieve and would later become a major supporting character as well. And that is it for a few of the supporting characters. When I go into the cartoons and movies, I will talk a little bit more on some other characters to flesh them out a little bit more. But I felt it was right to talk about the books and a few of the characters first, because Madeline is a big series. If you're like me, you may not have heard of this character for quite a while, and after this project, I never want to hear her again. And this is it for part one. Join me for part two. Until next time.